friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a mature white non intumescent cataract in this case i tried bevel down chop bevel down direct chop and i became successful usually when i do direct chop i keep the bevel of the phaco needle towards the cornea but in this case the bevel was towards the posterior capsule and i could do a nice chop and the nucleus divided into two heminuclei completely let us observe this surgery by this time all the incisions have been made the anterior capsule has been stained underneath an air bubble now the dye is washed out with bss and after this 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected to fill up the anterior chamber and now we are ready to do capsulorexis I'm going to use a uh, uterita forceps for capsulorexis scratch on to the anterior capsule raise the capsular tag go all around remaining at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated pupil and thus i could do a very nice optimum sized rexis of about 5.5 mm very a little bit of hydro was done and the nucleus rotated and now visco is again injected and now is the time to introduce the phaco needle inside the anterior chamber as usual the phaco needle goes with its bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and without turning the handpiece i went inside the nucleus and this is submarine chop with the bevel of the phaco needle towards the posterior capsule and see the nucleus is completely divided into two nice heminuclei and now i make the bevel off and divide the heminuclei in front into three pieces and emulsify the pieces ultrasonic energy used in this case is 70% flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 mm of mercury and now the other heminuclei is turned and it is divided into two pieces in this case the substance of the nucleus is brittle not leathery and chopping was very easy but it is not so all cases some brown cataracts or black cataracts of very stubborn leathery fibers there in those cases we may not get such nice jobs very little cortex is there in this case and i'm going to remove the cortex with this instrument this is a 23 gauze simco cannula it's a very safe instrument particularly in the hands of beginner eye surgeons you are you probably have done SICS you are already used to this instrument 
Only thing is they make the side boards 90 degree, 3 clock hours away from the main incision so that astigmatism induced by the main incision is neutralized by the little wider side boards. Yes, if the side boards are 90 degree away from the main incision, astigmatism induced by the main incision is going to be neutralized to some extent by the side boot. Yes, the cortical cleanup is complete and now I'm going to enlarge the main wound a little bit because I'm going to use a B cartridge. Sometimes if we don't enlarge the main wound, the lens may get stuck at the wound and the wound gets very much stressed. If we enlarge the wound little bit then the tip of the cartridge goes in and the nuclear and the IOL is delivered inside the anterior chamber. The intraocular lens is placed in the capsular bag by the irrigating instrument and This is a hydrophobic material. It is opening slowly. It's a monofocal intraocular lens. And it has almost opened up. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. And now the side boards are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of the stab wounds. You can see a small pterygium in this case. The patient didn't want the pterygium surgery at the same sitting and the patient's attendants wanted vision, not any cosmetic surgery. So only cataract surgery is being done at this setting. But the patient and attendants have been told to get the pterygium surgery done. Biometry may be a little tricky in such cases because the pterygium produces some astigmatism and K readings are not the uh, real K readings. So we take help of the K readings of the other eye and get an average calculation. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical skills.